Hello again, my people. This is Chris Cobb with Light Stomp, and today I'm going to show you how to do a couple things. The very first thing is how to write the Raspberry Pi operating system image to an SD card from Windows. And then we are going to put this SD card in our Raspberry Pi 4B. After that, I am going to walk you through how to install RetroPie from within the operating system, how to configure RetroPie, and finally, play in the ROMs that we've downloaded. So let's begin. We are using Raspberry Pi Imager, and I am simply going to click on Choose OS. I will select Other because I need to use the Raspbian Debian-based Buster operating system with the desktop environment. I have found RetroPie not to work very well with the new version of the Raspberry Pi OS Bullseye. And as you can see, I am going to select my SD card, which is in a USB adapter, my MTX USB storage device. It's a 64 gigabyte micro SD card, and I'm simply going to click on write. And yes, we want to continue. This will format our drive how it needs to be formatted, and it will write our image to the SD card. Writing and verifying the device will, of course, take a few minutes. And now that we have written our image to the SD card, I am going to remove the SD card from my Windows PC and put it in the Raspberry Pi computer. And now that we have the SD card in the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to power it up. And then we could just run through this self-explanatory setup. And if you see a black border around the screen, which I do here, simply check this box to turn on overscan. Connect to your Wi-Fi network. And you can do the update manager if you'd like. I am going to use the terminal to do so. So we can skip this for now. We're going to restart. And now that we have rebooted the system, the very first step in this is to get a cold background. And the next step, we're going to install RetroPie in the system. The very first thing I want to do, however, is update our software by opening the terminal and typing in sudo apt update. The next thing I'm going to do is sudo apt upgrade. Okay, now that we have updated our system, the next step is to actually install RetroPie. And in order to do so, we have to clone the Git repository, but first we must install Git. So we'll type sudo apt install git. And now we will clone the RetroPie repository from Git. Next, we're going to type in sudo git clone https www.github dot com forward slash retropie slash retro high setup. We're going to use the change directory or CD command to retropie setup. And finally run the setup script by typing sudo dot forward slash retropie underscore setup dot sh And once the installation is complete, it will take you into the RetroPie setup. We will do a basic install, select yes, and this should take a few minutes. Okay, and now that we've installed the basic packages, I am going to update the RetroPie setup script. And if we want to auto start RetroPie, when we turn on our system from now on, we can go to configuration, auto start, and start emulation station at boot. Then we can exit out of the setup, type in reboot. And as you can see, we are automatically going to boot into RetroPie. And now we're going to configure our controller. And the next step will be to download some ROMs and install them on the system. So I'm going to press Control Alt F4, type in our credentials, type in Start X. And this will have the desktop environment. And for now, let's just look up some NES ROMs. And now that we've downloaded our ROM, we are going to extract, cut. We will go into the Pi folder under the home folder. Navigate into our retro Pi folder, ROMs, NES. 
and paste our ROM here. And now if we want to open back up Emulation Station, we simply type it in, press enter, and you will see the Nintendo emulator is now in our system since we have a ROM available. We can start this up, and you can use the same method for different ROMs and different systems. And, I and there we have it. If there is anything else I can help with, please leave a comment. And again, thank you for watching.